what up? It's your boy, Hash Info. Trying to get this, uh, we're, st we're going for a rip to Best Buy, Home Depot. Best Buy, we actually have to buy a printer that's essential. We're doing something regarding, I'm not gonna say, it, I absolutely am not gonna say, but we're doing something that's essential that's required for business. We don't have a printer, so we're going to get one. We have to print some things off and sign some stuff, and that's just how it is, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, documenting this, just in case uh, any uh, El Pigo wants to uh, question us, I'll just play this short video for them. Uh, second of all, you know, I follow these guidelines so strictly that uh, I'd be appalled if somebody came up to me and even questioned me for a second, some authoritative figure or so they think they are. Um, you are not. Uh, the only authoritative figure that I listen to is mother. Uh, mother is a, a great thing. I have two mothers. Uh, Google is the second mother and then the one who bore me which is uh, a beautiful thing. Uh, a mother is, is genuine, caring, thoughtful, considerate and uh, we don't have a lot of authoritative figures that can be referred to as such. Period. Point blank. By <clears throat> So now we're going to Home Depot for essential items. I have to uh, insulate my garage and I am making sure that I have the items needed and I got to grab a couple. And that's that. So Home Depot and crazy, crazy Home Depot and Best Buy. And then I'm thinking maybe something from the grocery store, but I don't know. Uh, mostly because we're already here and we are going to like a one-stop shop kind of area it's actually better than the area that I am in so uh, much better I must say it's still a nice area that I'm in but for shopping purposes if you need stuff this area <clears throat> is the best in the city um, lots of parking here I've very, 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 very rarely ever seen that entire parking lot of Regent. It's like a Regent station, I think they call it, or something like that. Is, is that true? Do you know that term? Something like that. It's a Regent strip mall. <clears throat> Carries Home Depot, Best Buy, all the way down to Staples. I think it has half the banks that are in the city inside this area. A couple restaurants that I don't frequent, but there's restaurants there. Um, Nothing against restaurants, it's just, I think in the future, people who open restaurants may be out of business, not regarding any of this BS that we're going through right now. Just, your food isn't as healthy, you know? Your food is way overpriced. If you can make a salad at home for four or five bucks, why are people charging you $15 for a tossed salad that's a third the size of the package of lettuce you can buy at the store, right? They're getting it cheaper then the store sells it to you. So they're making not just the three times, they're making about six times. It's it's a real sad mess we're in when the, a restaurant is forced. I, I think people are obviously very lazy. Rather than the owner themselves doing any work at all, they simply own the business and then enslave others at a very low price to work for them and cook for them. What? Um, so back to what I was saying about restaurants, they're very, uh, people who own restaurants actually enslave people. The owner of the restaurant will not do the cooking, the cleaning, those essential things to keep your restaurant open, clean, and cooking, you know. They actually use uh, minimum wage employees that don't know cooking standards, that don't know, you know, hy hygiene, and don't use or follow or practice it. Uh, probably young kids that also don't obey authority in regard to you have a job this is what you should be doing this is what not to do guarantee you 99% of the time they're not doing they're they're doing what they're not supposed to do not the opposite of that so uh, you know these are reasons why restaurants are in fact going out of business people are being becoming more frugal with their money 
some aren't. I mean, some still make a good amount of money and feel the need to support restaurants. I don't have a love for any restaurant in this city that I would shed a tear if they went out of business. The reason why is because these restaurants are charging too much per meal. You're stealing out of the mouths of those you're trying to feed. Um, fair prices. So in California, you can get a pizza for $10, $12 a pizza. Here in Winnipeg, it's about 30 Now if you take the offset of the conversion at 25% and apply it to the food market, the grocery market, which is the same company, it's less than 20%. There's a lot of businesses that I think don't deserve uh, patronage due to the fact that their prices are so high. You know, I, there was one place we went and I tried to try something new and support a local uh, restaurant. They were on Instagram and this and that. It was almost $50 or something like that for one pizza and two small boxes of fries. Um, I can't even begin to tell you how gypped I felt. And I know each one of you has felt that way when you've purchased something at a restaurant, whether it was a eat-in or takeout, and you're like, what the heck, just this? But yeah, no, um, went for dinner at a friend's place, they ordered, um, this was a while back before the lockdown and this and that, um, they ordered two pizzas and two salads that were delicious for $50. When I heard that price, we got a pizza smaller than one of theirs, and yeah, we got two french fries or whatever, but I was supposed to get them for five bucks each. There was a special on IG. They said they were gonna give it to us. I got there and I just paid the $20 plus tax for the two. Um, seriously though, like, where do you get off charging $20 for two roasted french fries? It was, to me, I just felt ripped off. So it's called Cross, Cross, it's called Crossroads Station is the place that we're going to here. So we're just checking this out. Gas is 90 cents, 90.9, so I guess they're gonna say that the uh, barrels of oil or the economy is crumbling again here. Because I can see gas prices finally dropping below, I think it was 105 for 10 days. So, so we're here, we're at Best Buy gonna go into Best Buy oh look something shut down over there they're either peeling off the sign or putting up a sign hard to tell at this point I'll keep you posted what goes there Ashley home store I actually purchased the first furniture I ever purchased before I was 20 years old came here as a bed an end table and uh, a coffee table I still have the coffee table in the living room you guys comment on it all the time Peace. see you on the next one